Okay, so it's pretty straightforward if you know where you're going to, well, first of all, do the derivative of V. Okay, V prime is going to be negative 3 y to the negative 4 y prime. Since the derivative of y to the negative 3 is negative 3 y to the negative 4. So y prime is going to equal 1. Well, we solve this for y prime. We're going to get a negative 1 third, and we're going to get a y to the fourth. So we get 1 third y to the fourth times v prime. And y being v to the negative one third, we replace y by v to the negative one third, the fourth power of which is v to the negative four thirds. <coughs> so we get y prime equals negative one third v to the negative four thirds v prime. And now we simply rewrite the equation. We have y prime, so we have negative one third v to the negative four thirds times v prime. That's our y prime. That's going to be plus ty. Well, that's t v to the negative one third, and that equals t y to the fourth, which is t times v to the negative one third to the fourth, which is v to the negative four thirds. Okay. So what do we do now? Well, we don't want to have anything in front of v prime, do we? So it's very easy to clear that out. We multiply everything by negative 3 v to the 4 thirds. And we get v prime equals negative 3, that equals plus, well, it'll be negative 3 times t. So we'll just write minus 3t. And then v to the 4 thirds times v to the negative 1 third is just v. And look at that. So far, it's looking linear. Okay? And then that equals what? It ha this has to be just a function of t, but that's exactly what happens because you're multiplying by v to the 4 thirds. v to the 4 thirds times v to the negative 4 thirds gives you v to the 0, which is 1. So look at that. Now we have a first order linear non homogeneous equation. So now we can easily integrate. So uh, what's your integrating factor? <laughs> well, again, you got to stay up on this. We haven't done it for a week or so. OK, and it could slip if you haven't done enough problems. But the whole idea is simply um, the, well, the integrating factor is e to the big P of t, which is e to the integral of little p of t dt, which is e to the integral of negative 3t. And that's e to the negative 3t squared. over two, three halves, two squared. Okay. And with that integrating factor, the left-hand side becomes just v e to the negative 3t squared over two prime. Okay. So, move on from there.